it's here. Seems like only yesterday I ordered this camera and it's, it's finally here. It's Wednesday, the third of February. All right. A lot of good guesses on my previous video. If you haven't seen the video, go up here, click on it, go watch it. So you have some context for what this video is about. But yeah, the camera's here. It just got here a couple minutes ago. Um, I had to set up uh, this very jerry rigged mic holder setup so I can have my hands free. This will work. Got a Manfrotto super clamp and an Avenger friction arm on a really crappy ProMaster light stand. It's not crappy, it's just way too light weight for this situation. But who cares? Let's open this package. As you can see, I haven't opened it. The KEH tape is still intact. So this box hasn't been opened since it was packed by KEH a couple days ago. I got my box cutter. I got my tea. I'm not drinking coffee today. I'm drinking some English breakfast tea with a little bit of oat milk and a little bit of honey. And it's pretty good. All right, let's do it. I've never done an unboxing video. So if this video is stupid or incoherent or annoying <laughs> or I did this wrong, then I'm very sorry. Um, I also don't really care because this is my channel. So a handful of people made the correct guess on my last video in the comment section. I asked people if they wanted to guess what they thought this, uh, this new camera was gonna be. Some really good guesses, some really off the wall guesses, some guesses that I wouldn't have thought of, but uh, all of them except for I think four were incorrect. Here is the lens from the kit and you can't tell from looking at this whole package what that camera is going to be because you can't even see the lens. Oh, oh yeah. Can you tell what this is? <laughs> Let's get this box. Let's get this box out of here. Is that all that's in there? Up. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Got a invoice and KEH's little insert paper thing they gave everybody in the box. Okay. So this is a camera that I've been really bummed that I sold because it was one of those things where it was a tool that really worked out super well for what I was doing. But, um, I don't even remember why I sold it at the time. I probably was going through a rough patch and needed money to be completely honest. Um, so ever since I did sell it, it's been, um, uh, I've been thinking about it ever since and wanting to get another one because I think especially with the work I have going forward, this camera, um, this lens as well will be very, uh, helpful, very good tools in doing that work. And um, I'm really excited for the chance to own one a second time. So let's get it out of the bubble wrap. Wait, I'll do the, I'm going to do the lens first. No, I'm not going to do the lens first. I'm going to do the body first. Because if I do the lens, it's just going to give it away. It's not going to be as cool. Oh, man. I guess I'll just... Yeah, I'll just do this. Say what you will about KEH. I haven't heard anybody talk bad about KEH. They're amazing. I wish they had sponsored this video. That'd be more fun. But uh, they sure know how to pack gear. They do a really good job of packing gear. Really good job of shipping gear. KEH is amazing. They may not have the cheapest prices always, but they sure do have. You guys can see what that is, right? You can tell by now. Yes, some of you were correct. I got myself another Pentax 645N. I had this camera very briefly and I'll post some photos so you can see of some work I did with it. I loved this camera so much uh, and I've always been really bummed that I had to get rid of it. 
Um, oh, it feels just as good as I remember. And they rated this as a bargain. This is a bargain body. Um, and there are some light scratches from use. Uh, but all in all, this thing is in awesome condition. I don't know. <laughs> the way that they do their rating system over there is very conservative and it's really cool that they do it this way um, because you know you can really rest assured you can buy stuff from there i've bought stuff from there in the uh ugly rating condition and they work great uh, i think my mamiya 127 millimeter lens was an ugly buy and that can that lens showed up in great condition and it, it's awesome so keh five stars thumbs up everything Came with a 120 insert, which looks to be in amazing condition. What lens did I get? So this is the lens that I actually had um, when I originally bought this camera. Uh, I think it came as a kit. So I don't think I would have considered this lens um, otherwise. But since it came with that kit, that's the lens I stuck with for the most part, and I was actually really, really into it. I thought it was like a really amazing lens. And KEH came through with another. This one I think was in excellent condition. So this one's probably pristine. No front or back caps. Ooh, we keep hitting the mic, but wow. Wow. So this is the Pentax FA 45 millimeter 2.8, which is roughly 28 millimeters um, for a full frame sensor. So this is a wide lens, um, but auto or manual focus has got that push pull um, cam there, which is really, really cool. Um, 28 seems like it's really wide, but I found it to be super useful but this lens is beautiful. The glass is perfect. And it's got some paint scuffing on the edge of that cam there, on the edge of the uh, focusing ring. But other than that, it's in great condition. Wow. <laughs> it's a little hefty. Let's get some batteries. So I've got these Ikea rechargeable batteries that I use for kind of everything that are awesome. I love rechargeable batteries because I feel like it's less of a waste. They last a very long time. And these actually recharge super quickly. I bought a bunch of these and I also bought a bunch of um, AAAs as well for some other stuff that I have. And it works super well. Oop, backwards. Oh no, wait, that was right. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem like it's fitting right. Oh, this. <laughs> These batteries are sticking out. I don't know how to put batteries in is the uh, moral of the story. So it's on. Oh my God, that, mm. mm hmm. That shutter sound, listen to that. That's pretty nice, right? I mean, some people really hate that shutter sound. Um, I can I, I can understand that. It's very... Uh, sounds like there's rattling going on. You have no idea how exciting it is to have this camera back in my hands after a couple years, after regretting selling it. This is... I'm very happy and very excited. I can't wait to start working um, with this camera. So let's shout out... I told, I told you guys... I told you if you made the correct uh, guess on my channel, on my in my comment section for that video that I would shout you out. So here we go. I'm gonna tell you guys who was correct guessing what camera this was. I was guessing the Pentax 645N. Actually, first let me let me tell let me share some of my favorite guesses that were wrong, but were pretty good. Uh, Tinkerbell says it's gotta be a Holga. My response was it's four Holgas taped together with Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty duct tape, which I might, I should do that sometime. Uh, Carlos uh, with the pizza said, you may have given away the correct answer on your Instagram story a few days ago. I did, 
but without any hints, my guess would be Game Boy Camera. Again, missed opportunity. I should have gotten a Game Boy Camera. Sebastian Rodriguez. I'm going to say 645N. Sebastian, you nailed it. Putting it out there, which would be interesting if you snagged away the listing I was following on KEH. Sebastian, I might have snagged that exact Pentax 645N from underneath your nose. Uh, this is the one that's been sitting there. There were two of them. There's one in excellent condition and one in bargain. This was the bargain one. I think the excellent one had already been sold. So I'm sorry, but I'm really not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Seiji says, Bish, don't play. You're getting your Pentax 645N back for that slick handheld medium format autofocus goodness. Seiji, you know me so well. Um, uh, Jonathan Stockdale, I've got a hunch. It's the Pentax 645N. You guys were really specific with your, with your hunches, which leads me to believe you saw my Instagram story, which is fine. Someone guessed uh, a Nikon F2. Stefano, I already have one. Stefano, hello. Jackie says it's a Zune, isn't it? Kenneth Mitchell, Pentax 645 with the little looking eyes emoji. Yep, Kenneth, you nailed it. Mateus. Podowski, wild guess, Pentax 645N. Is it a wild guess? You watched my story, I could tell. I knew you knew, I knew you knew. So the biggest runner up for guesses was the Pentax 67, which I'm not surprised. I used to own a Pentax 67 and I, you know, I love that camera. I, I own three actually. Great camera, but um, a little bit, uh, not what I need for work right now. It's a great camera. I'd love to have another one eventually, but I think for what I'm doing next, this guy is going to be what's what's happening. What's happening? What? Am, how old am I? Okay, that's it. I, I unboxed it. It's here. It looks amazing. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to go out and put some rolls of film through it. My girlfriend and I are going to go take her dog out and check out some parks or go somewhere fun. And, and I'm going to put a roll or two through this uh, and see how everything works. It looks like it's in great condition, so I don't have a reason to believe it wouldn't we be working perfectly, but uh, this is a um, very exciting day. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being a part of my first unboxing experience. Uh, let me know some feedback if you think that I can improve on future unboxings. I do have another camera coming, which should be here probably next week, early next week, um, that I will do an unboxing for as well. So if you have some tips about doing this better or making it cooler, let me know. I will entertain all tips except having an overhead camera because I don't have a second video camera to do an overhead shot. Otherwise, I would have done that for this video. But you know, this is good enough, right? You get a nice view of the camera, nice familiar setup. Obviously, I'm shooting a little bit wider than usual. I wanted to have enough room on the tabletop for you guys to see everything. If you guys are interested in Clubhouse or have been involved in any of the film photography um, chats on Clubhouse, they've been really, really cool and super informative. And there's a lot of really great people on there who are talking about awesome stuff. I'm hosting my first Clubhouse chat room on Wednesday the 10th, next Wednesday. It's the Photo Department Film Photography Roundtable Part 1. Uh, it's going to be the first in a series of film photography roundtables where we will have loose discussions about film photography. I will bring some topics to you guys um, that we can riff on and talk about. It'll be a room where everyone can talk. It's not going to be one of those rooms where everyone is muted and you have to just sit there and listen to a bunch of ding dongs talk all day. It's going to be full collaboration. I want to get to know you guys. I want you guys to get to know me, be able to ask me questions and we can talk about whatever you want. Uh, in the film photography world. I think that'll be really fun. So if you want to be involved in that, it's next Wednesday the 10th at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. God, I love that.